Hey everybody, it's Rachel. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to show you a few things that I had purchased from Target, which I don't go often just because the one that's closest by me is about 40 minutes in the north direction and in the south direction. So it's kind of a treat when I do get the opportunity to go there. And I also kind of think they're a little bit on the expensive side, but I sure do love their stuff, right? Who doesn't? So let's go ahead and take a look at what we will be crafting with in the future videos. So let's take a look at what I got from Target. The first thing that I got is this potted faux plant from Target. And I just love the lavender. I have this kind of sprinkled throughout my house. But I was really intrigued because I bought a little stand from Hobby Lobby. So we're going to go just a tad bit out of order. So hang on. Okay, so I got this from Hobby Lobby. So I know we're doing Target right now, but I wanted to show you. I found this cute little tray. Let's see, what do they call it? A table decor. So it's just table decor. And I thought it was super adorable. And I haven't quite decided if I'm gonna craft with this and put a cute little phrase here at the bottom corner or what I'm gonna do. But I just need this need as some type of plant and be put on one of my shelves. So it was originally, I think it was $42 and I got it for $10.49. And I thought it would be cute to kind of put this on top of this tray. So let me go ahead and tilt it so you all can see it. So that's kind of what it looks like on the side. Um, I'm thinking I might need a little bit bigger or maybe do two of them. So I might have to go back and get another one or a different type of plant. But I also thought if this didn't work, I have a couple other options, but I thought it'd be kind of cute to put some type of vinyl around this and add a cute little design. The next thing that I got is this 24 ounce tumbler and it's link resistant with a straw and lid dishwasher safe although once you put vinyl on it it no longer becomes dishwasher safe and then it does cold for 24 hours and then eight hours for heat and it's cup holder friendly so i just really love the color i like the muted tone and i like that it has a straw and yeah it's a, it seems like it's a really good better be it was pretty expensive actually but I figured I can put like mama on here or something like that. I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do to craft with this, but you better believe I'm gonna vinyl it, right? The next piece of item that I got from Target is this shower curtain. And I don't know, it's just really pretty, very simple. And I think it was only like $7. And I've been wanting to get a new shower curtain for one of my bathrooms. And it's the upstairs guest bathroom. We currently have a red shower curtain and the, that bathroom is relatively small. So I thought we, the red kind of makes it look smaller. So I thought I wanted to get a white curtain and I'm hoping this will work. Now I'm not gonna craft with it, but it was part of my haul. So I gotta show it, right? The next item that I bought is this planner. Now I will be honest and I hate to harp on the expense of Target, but this was really expensive. However, absolutely, I mean, expensive for what you get, but absolutely wanted this because this is my current one. And if you haven't watched this video, I had a fail with this and then I had a succession with this. Um, I tried iron on gold foil and it would not iron on. So then I just added this vinyl to it. Loved it, but I am finding that it is just, you know, it's just not very functional um, because I had printed off, um, you know, a calendar of when I'm releasing my crafts and, you know, what videos I am making. And so I have paper and then I have this notebook. And I liked this size only because it fits in my purse. But I just don't think it's functional and it's hard to keep all of this together. So while I'm going to retire the concept of why I wanted to buy this, I'm still going to use it for other things. It's just my main inspiration is going to be using this. And of course, I am going to do something with vinyl. Now, it's the same type of, not fabric, but same type of material as this one. So I definitely will not attempt to use the foil iron on. Although I'm really curious to see if it works. So I might test it off camera because I really just want to try to match 
this um this gold here so if it's if it works i'll test it you know in the back and if it works then i'll go ahead and bring it to the channel regardless you'll see something in in my channel um with some type of work but anyways so i like how it says start each day with a grateful heart I like this that it has this calendar so i can write down what video is going to get released on that particular day and then i also like um the breakdown of this and I like how it has a to-do list the week goals and the call email and to buy well not so much to call an email but what to buy right I feel like I go to Hobby Lobby every week the next thing that I bought from Target is this cute little wooden heart and I swear I was done with Valentine's Day but unfortunately I am not I have unfortunately but fortunately um believe it or not I, yes I mean a lot but they're on the smaller scale so I can I still have plenty of space to add more um uh, Valentine's Day crafts so you're gonna see this um in a, in a video of I'm gonna craft with this and they had it displayed on its side of course you can go this way as well um but yeah it was from the Mon mondo llama brand and i'm not sure how much this was but you can also hang it so that's always an option as well the last few items are these folders and i'm actually going to go ahead and open it up so i needed some folders for my work and of course i can just use the plain boring envelopes that we have at work but because I'm a crafter, I wanted something cute and I wanted to be able to label it. So you'll see this in an upcoming video that um, I am going to label for my classes, which I only have two in person. Oh, that's neat. No wonder it was so expensive. <laughs> Again, here I go with the expensive Target. Um, but anyways, I just really like the fact that I had these lines and that way I could put the name of the class on each one. But this actually has a folder which is kind of cool. And also, you know, it opens up like this. So I'm going to definitely be using these for my drawings that I get assigned students and they turn in and I just need to keep it in a folder. This is going to be it. And I'm going to use removable vinyl because I'm going to be, be able to use it from time to time. So it looks like they give you two black and then they give you two whites and then two pinks. So that is all I got from Target. So I got the folders, then I got this cute little plant, the colander, the wood heart, and then I got the, um, the agenda calendar binder. And I also have that shower curtain that I'm not going to bring in the camera. But anyways, um, so yeah, I think this all turned out a great buy and I really like everything that I got. So let's go ahead and get into and also before we do that, everything that you see here with the exception of that shower curtain, everything can be crafted with the heart, I could put stuff around here, definitely going to be something on the tumbler, all the folders. And of course, my um, calendar I can definitely put something maybe not so much the bright ideas just to you know, do something different. So I'm not sure what I'll put on any of this just yet, but you definitely will be seeing some cute things being done with all of this. So Hobby Lobby. Um, I had got a few things from there and I went into the wood pile section and I, not for this purpose. I didn't, was, I wasn't really looking for this in particular, the sign, but I saw it and I also saw that it was cracked or not cracked, but it looks like, well, I don't know if it was just, you know, loss of stick or whatever. So you can clearly see it's falling apart here. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to add some wood glue, clamp it, and then it's going to be an easy fix. The next thing that I got from Hobby Lobby is these wood um, cutouts. So they have, let me open it up here. They have words that say uh, love. And then kiss looks like they forgot to my laser cut that they forgot to remove that and then they also have hugs and then exo keeping on theme of valentine's day i had purchased this table runner from hobby lobby in fact i actually purchased 
the black and I think it was black and cream or black and white version of this. So basically it was white background with black hearts because I have an entry table that kind of has the black and white theme. But I thought, you know what, currently I have a runner on that and it's, um, Buffalo check black and white and you know I just need I thought I needed something to pop up so I, I thought this would be a great um, addition to that area and um, so I went back to Hobby Lobby which is the whole reason why I went there today and just to exchange it and get this color so I was so thankful that they did found this really pretty um, purple tote bag and I'm going to put some iron on on it and this is going to be for a birthday so I'm really stoked about um, ironing using this to do some iron on projects the next one that I have is this box and I actually this is part of their wood section and I had mentioned in earlier in this video that I had bought I don't want to show you because I already crafted with it. So I'm kind of doing these videos out of order. But anyways, I had bought something very similar, but it was it was um, had slats in it. And so I was going to do my logo on another one, but I couldn't find a small wood round to go on top of it. Um, so what I did is I bought this one and then I bought these um, six plywood circles measuring about six and a half inches in, in diameter. So I thought this would be super adorable to put my logo on here, paint this. Not sure how I'm gonna go about painting this cause this is gonna be navy blue, just like my logo. And then I'm gonna have pink with the, D and the DC on there. The next thing that I have purchased from Hobby Lobby um, for my second day in a row is this cute, um, wood sign and I absolutely think this is adorable. I'm not a sewer. Um, my mom is, but unfortunately I'm not going to give this gift this to her <laughs> only because I like this so much to have as part of my decor. And of course, if you guys have been around my channel long enough, you guys know that I buy this stuff all the time and redo what's already, you know, redo this. So this is going to be an easy sand or I might just end up painting over it. Not sure. And then I'll add my own little uh, design on this. Okay. Then the next thing that I had got is are these floating shelves. Okay. And they're relatively huge. I think they're 36 inches why no they are 23 23.94 so 24 inches and they are eight and a half inch wide here and i'm actually not going to use these as, float, as floating shelves i'm actually going to use this for display so there's going to be one where i'm going to have to drape a wire um thing around here in the back so i can hang it up and then what i'm going to do when i hang it you'll have the hardware here here and i'll end up just um hanging it up with the hardware facing the top because where um this is being positioned you're not going to be able to see the top anyways so unless you're standing it's going to be above a bed so unless you're standing on the bed then you'll see it so it just makes sense to, for this one in particular to be uh, this to be at the bottom now the other two because i bought three of them well i had one and then i bought two of them this time around but um the other ones i'm going to have to have it displayed like this because it's going to be sitting and resting on um, a piece of furniture in my office and also in my home. So one's going to be mounted on the wall and then the other two are going to just be resting on top of some type of furniture. The next thing that I had purchased from Hobby Lobby are these, um, what do they call it here? Square wood canvas. Okay. And I, they were seeing these at Hobby Lobby. They were 15 bucks, 40% off, and they have three of them. I don't know if you guys can quite tell, but there are three individual packs here. The next one is this cute um, little frame. Now, this is the first time in a long time that I actually had bought something that was not on clearance or, well, it's always on sale, which really is just the true price of the object, right? But um, I just really loved this frame and I was really worried that I would A, forget about it and B, that they would run out of this. So it just says, bake me a cake as fast as you can. Super cute, go in your fridge, or go in your fridge, go in your kitchen. But I don't want this in my kitchen. I really don't have a lot of wall space in my kitchen to put this in there. Anyway, here's another one. Um, I actually was, um really intrigued by this mainly because of the edges of the um this piece here so 
it was just, it just says wood sign and it was for $7 and it has little hooks here so you can just hang it up. Not exactly sure if it's going to go this direction or I'll have it go this direction. And I have no idea where I'm going to put it, paint it or anything like that, but I liked it. And for, I don't know, what is it? Seven, so half of that, $4-ish um, for $4. I think that it was worth the buy. The next piece of items that are not so much Valentine's Day related it are these signs. Now, I actually, this is not the first time I bought this. I bought this the last time I went there for their clearance. I'm all about their clearance section. And I, I mean, I think this is super cute. It says, uh, flower market, always fresh, um, always fresh picked. And that is super adorable, but I'm inspired by the the design of it, but I kind of want to make it a little bit different. So I bought um, two of them today, but I had bought one previously. And what I did was, since this is not, I gotta clean it up a little bit, but this is glass, so I was able to scrape that all off. And I am going to go ahead, and I know I'm going off camera here, but um, so all you gotta do is just get a, um, let me go ahead and get it out here. Got one of these my husband gave me. And all you have to do is just scrape it off and it comes right off, okay? So um, that's what I'm gonna do and that's what I did with this one. And of course, once you scrape it off, you have to clean it up with some Windex or some rubbing alcohol. That's what I did with this one. And as you can see, it needs to be cleaned up even more. But, um, you know, that's why I buy these clearance items because, you know, you don't see these type of stuff in their um, decor or their DIY section. And I just like to make things my own and make them fit my, uh, my aesthetic in my home. Okay. So then we have these two and believe it or not. And I, I talked like you guys seen my stash of, of DIY stuff. <laughs> it's quite a bit. Um, but I actually want to do something really cute with this. I have something in mind. I kind of want to do some type of wreath. I'm going to do stencil and I bought this color, uh, because I want to, I really like the green, this mossy meadow color. However, it's a little bit too dark for my taste. So I'm going to try to see, I tried to find the green that I wanted, but I could not find the green that I wanted, at least at Hobby Lobby. And I didn't have time to go to Michael's. Um, but anyways, so I, I bought this and because I knew even if I attempted to add some white paint to it to lighten it up, even if it doesn't turn out the color that I want, this still is a good pick color for um, spring and also for fall. And then the last thing that I had bought is this candlestick holder. Now, I, uh, I'm not going to use this for a candlestick. I saw an idea on a YouTube video, but also on Pinterest. And I am super intrigued to try it on my own. And while I'm not going to use this for what I'm going to show you, but just to give you an idea, I saw a DIY where they bought a candlestick and then they added like something on top of it. And I really liked it. In fact, I found one very similar to it already done. And all you got to do is insert your picture. Now, I don't want to insert a picture. I really just want to add a cute little sign to it. But um, it was not on sale this week. And I thought, you know, I can do this a lot cheaper. So this was only $2.49. And I'm sure I can find a blank that I had purchased you know, within the last, you know, several years that I've been shopping and collecting. And so the idea was to glue this down to have a sign like this. Now, again, I'm not using this. This is just here to give you the idea. But this actually is kind of cute. I don't think it's, I think this is a little wider base and I don't want it exactly showing, um, sticking out on both ends because you can clearly see the candle holder. So I'm going to see if I actually, that lit might be an issue, the candle holder. So I'm going to see if I can remove that. I don't know if I can, but if not, I'm going to have to figure something out. The last 
two items. Now bear with me. I had purchased this um, embroidery hoop. Now I had, I know I had purchased one previously and you've seen it already. However, I, I just could not find, and this is also another reason why I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby because I wanted to see if they have any clearance frames that I could use to, to redo on my own. And I could not find anything that was going to fit that size embroidery hoop. So I want a size down smaller. And then I found this frame and I really liked it. So, and it was in their wood tile section. So I thought, yep, go ahead and get it. And I'll just end up painting it and adding some faux lines to make it look like it's shiplap because I just, I have a bunch of faux, um, I don't know what they're called, boards, but it's going to be, this is too wide and it's just, I would have to do a lot of cutting vertically, which I think my husband could do, but he's, he's pretty busy. So I, I may end up doing it myself or ask him out of his kindness of heart. I'm sure he'll do it. He loves doing this kind of stuff. But anyways, so as I was shopping around, I came across this one and I absolutely love it. Now I'm not hundred percent sold on it, but hear me out. You can kind of see the lines of like what would be each individual wood slices, but um, I liked this frame. I like um, just everything about it. The only thing is I just think I might end up, you know, dry brushing um, some white paint on this but I really liked it. So then I'm like, okay, I'll put it in my cart. We'll do it. And then I get to the counter and I forgot that I had the other one in my cart. And I'm like, oh, Rachel, I know you. You're going to craft with it eventually. You might as well get it. So I did. At least that's my excuse, right? <laughs> but anyways, this is it. That's all I got. And I know I'm supposed to be shopping in my craft space, but I couldn't pass this up. So I'm not a perfect person. I tried my best. And, um, but anyways, everything was on sale no, I can't even say that. One was not on sale. That sewing machine thing was not on sale and neither was this embroidery hoop. But my my deal was um, only shop if I absolutely need it and I absolutely needed everything. <laughs> Anyway, all right. Well, that is all that I got in my craft haul. Hopefully you got inspired by some of the stuff that I got and we will definitely be crafting with a lot of this stuff that I have in my haul. I in fact, I just got done with one of my videos. Again, I kind of did this all out of order, but I just got done crafting with some of the things that you've seen in this video. All right. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.